Get ready for some of the wildest medical images you've ever seen. We're diving into the world of bizarre things people have actually swallowed. And I'm not talking about food. It's like a treasure hunt, but inside the human body. I'm gonna walk you through these unbelievable x-rays and CT scans, and we'll explore the stories behind these foreign bodies. How did they get there? What kind of trouble did they cause? And the big question, how did doctors get them out? So grab a snack, or maybe just a beverage given the topic, and let's dive right in. You know how little kids are like tiny explorers, right? Always on a mission, finding every random thing and putting it in their mouths. It's their way of figuring out the world. But sometimes this curiosity can lead to dangerous situations. Picture this. A 16-month-old boy was rushed to the emergency department after his older sister saw him swallow something in her room. Luckily, he was breathing normally, he wasn't choking, but his parents wanted to make sure that he was okay. The doctors ordered an x-ray, and voila, there was something in his throat. From the side view, it sort of looks like a bobby pin. Pretty standard kiddo stuff. But as we switch to a frontal view, you can see it's not a bobby pin, it's SpongeBob SquarePants a pendant straight out of his sister's jewelry box. What blows my mind is the incredible metal details, the fingers, the freckles. I've never seen anything like it, it's wild. And amazingly, the little boy still wasn't having any symptoms. Like having a cartoon character hanging out in your throat was just no big deal. But of course, it had to come out. So his doctors went on a mini rescue mission, taking a camera and a mini forceps down the kiddo's throat to carefully fish out Mr. Squarepants problem solved. Now that was a pretty easy fix, but some small objects are particularly dangerous. So imagine this, a two-year-old boy, feverish, vomiting, gets rushed to the emergency department. Doctors did a chest x-ray and they found this big round metal thing stuck in his esophagus. First thought, maybe a coin? But if you look more closely, you'll see there's a double ring and that's a dead giveaway that it's something much more dangerous a button battery. It's so dangerous because the environment of the esophagus can trigger an electrical current, causing a chemical reaction that can lead to severe burns in as little as two hours. So I decided to do a little experiment. I bought some deli meat, popped a button battery inside, and watched to see what would happen. And this is what it looks like after one hour, after two hours, and after four hours. The damage is horrifyingly clear. Well, I think it speaks for itself. This is a medical emergency. The team acted quickly and inserted a camera down the little boy's throat. They were able to remove the button battery. He had a few minor burns, but he made a speedy recovery. It could have been much worse. So if there's one thing that I want you to take away from this video, it's this. If a child swallows a button battery, I want you to reach for honey. Yes, that's right five to 10 mils of pure honey. It can actually prevent chemical burns while you're rushing them to the emergency department. I know, it's freaky stuff. I don't even wanna think about it. But button batteries are in so many things. Toys, watches, calculators, even those annoying musical greeting cards. So it's critical to have a plan and to know what to do if it ever happens. Knock on wood. But removing a foreign body isn't always such a straightforward task. A 29-year-old prisoner came to the emergency department with nausea and vomiting after somehow managing to swallow a whole cell phone. Yeah, you heard that right. This x-ray is wild. You can see the battery and all the little circuits just hanging out in his stomach. Here's a fun fact. If something's over six centimeters, it's not usually taking the a natural route out of the body. And this phone is definitely too big for that. The doctors first tried the camera down the throat trick, just like our SpongeBob kid. And they took this amazing photo in his stomach. But here's the twist. The position and the shape of the device were just too awkward to pull out the same way that it came in. So it was time for surgery. Doctors had to make an incision through the layers of the abdomen, open up the stomach from the outside, and reach in to pull the phone out. Luckily, it all went smoothly and the patient made a full recovery. Okay, so in the last few examples, the foreign body was discovered almost immediately. But what happens if something gets stuck in your digestive tract for years? It sounds crazy, but check this out. A 76 year old woman presented to the emergency department with weight loss and diarrhea. And here's her CT scan. You don't have to be a radiologist to see that something doesn't belong. Can you tell what it is? So it turns out that 25 years ago, she noticed a spot on her tonsil and she was using a pen to poke at the spot when she slipped, fell, 
and swallowed the pen whole. At the time, she had an abdominal x-ray, which was normal, and her story was just sort of dismissed by her doctor and her husband. So this pen basically had a free 25-year all-inclusive stay in her stomach. Fast forward to now, and it seems like this pen might be causing her some symptoms. So her doctors went in with a camera and removed the felt tip pen. And guess what? After 25 years of sitting in stomach acid, the pen still worked. My pens run out in like a couple of months. So this case definitely highlights a few key points. One, plastic objects don't usually show up on an x-ray. And two, doctors and husbands shouldn't dismiss someone's story so quickly no matter how unlikely it sounds. I mean, seriously, imagine knowing there's a pen inside you and no one believes you. And it could have been so much worse if it had punctured her bowels. I mean, that poor woman. Okay, here's another case where a foreign body was stuck for a long time. But fair warning, this guy wasn't as lucky as our pen lady. So this 27 year old guy walked into a clinic and casually mentioned that he'd swallowed a wooden chopstick. How does that even happen? Was it a dare? I mean, I just can't imagine eating dinner and then whoops, I swallowed a chopstick. Anyway, so he had an abdominal x-ray which looked normal and his doctor suggested that maybe the chopstick had already been digested into fragments and that it would just pass through his system unnoticed. So apparently the last two doctors seem to have forgotten that plastic and wood tend not to show up well on x-rays. Falsely reassured, the man went home and didn't think much of it. Fast forward nine months, he's back but this time in the emergency department, doubled over with excruciating abdominal pain. His doctors ordered a CT scan and they were shocked by what they found. There it is, check it out. A whole chopstick just hanging out in the small intestine. Think of the small bowel like a twisty roller coaster and the chopstick was just too tall to ride. It got stuck at a sharp turn, couldn't bend and started poking through the bowel wall. That's not just painful, it's a full-blown medical emergency. So he was rushed to the operating room where the surgeons opened up his belly and pulled out an 11 centimeter chopstick. And after sewing his small bowel back together, he made a full recovery. But I still wanna know how he swallowed it. All right, so it took nine months for the chopstick to perforate the bowels. But what if you swallowed a needle? That's exactly what happened to this 20 year old woman who presented to the emergency department after accidentally swallowing a sewing needle. She'd been holding it in her teeth when she got distracted and then it was gone. She had no symptoms, but she was appropriately scared of what might happen. So she went to the hospital. This first x-ray already shows that the needle had cruised past her stomach and was too far along to extract. So she was put on a high fiber diet with the hopes that nature would take its course. And her doctor scheduled repeat x-rays to track the needle's journey. A few days later, it had successfully navigated the twists and turns of the small intestine and it was just entering the colon. Great. Almost there. But on day 10, the radiologist called her doctor with alarming news. The needle was inside her chest cavity. And oh my gosh, it sort of looks like it's in her heart. So they ordered a CT scan, which fortunately showed that the needle was actually in the lung behind the heart. So the needle must have perforated the colon and pushed its way up through the diaphragm and into the lung. And guess what? Somehow, she didn't feel a thing. Obviously, the needle needed to be removed. So they took her to the operating room where they cut between her ribs into the lung to retrieve the needle safely. And it was a happy ending. She made a full recovery and went home five days later. Speaking of pokey items, have you ever swallowed a fishbone? Most of the time, it's no big deal but this next patient wasn't so lucky. An elderly man presented to the emergency department with chest and abdominal pain. His blood work showed an elevated troponin level, a marker of heart damage, and he was diagnosed with a heart attack. With standard treatment, his chest pain went away, but he was still complaining of severe abdominal pain, and his blood work showed some inflammation in his liver. So time for a CT scan of his belly and guess what they found? A whopping six centimeter fishbone. It had managed to stab through his stomach, deep into his liver, bringing bacteria with it and causing an abscess. Doctors performed a laparotomy to remove the fishbone. And check out these images from the procedure. On the left, you can see the fishbone after it was taken out of the liver. And on the right, you can see them draining the abscess. Talk about a fishing trip. The infection was treated with antibiotics and he made a full recovery. Really makes you think. I mean, I've definitely swallowed fish bones accidentally in the past, but six centimeters, like that's like a mini sword. Moral of the story, 
take it slow and chew your food. All right, now onto magnets. If you just swallow one magnet, it may not be such an issue, but when you have multiple magnets, that can be a medical emergency. Here's a perfect example. A three-year-old was brought to the emergency department after eating a few spherical, powerful magnets. Luckily, he wasn't having any symptoms yet. This first x-ray showed the magnets quite clearly, and the medical team went with a camera to try to see if they could pull out the closest magnet, but they couldn't reach it. Everyone was hoping that he would just pass the magnets the old-fashioned way, but unfortunately, Two days later, he returned to the emergency department with abdominal pain and a fever. He had another x-ray, which showed that the magnets were coming together on the right side of the abdomen. These incredibly powerful magnets had snapped together through the walls of two different sections of the small bowel. And the bowel was squeezed so tightly between the two magnets that it cut off the blood supply and perforated the small bowel. The young boy was rushed to the operating room where the surgeons opened up his belly, removed the magnets and patched up his small bowel. The good news? He bounced back like a champ, and you can bet that his parents removed every single magnet from their house. Okay, last one, and this is a good one. You know those wire brushes you can use to clean a barbecue grill? Well, those are made up of sharp metal bristles, and if those get loose and end up in your food, they can easily enter your body and wreak havoc. Imagine this, a 63-year-old woman enjoyed a hot dog at a family barbecue, but just two hours later, she developed severe throat pain and had difficulty swallowing. She went to the hospital where they found a two-inch barbecue bristle embedded in her throat, so deep that they needed to surgically remove it. And guess what? She's not the only one. This isn't such a unique case. There have been so many other cases of these sneaky bristles ending up in the small bowel or the gallbladder or even the abdominal wall. So for all you barbecue lovers out there, it is definitely time to rethink your grill cleaning gear. So whether you've lost your keys or you've just finished building your Ikea desk and you're missing a nail, whether you woke up and thought someone had stolen your golden grills or a thumbtack seems to be missing from your bulletin board. Well, now you've got one more place to look for those mysterious disappearing items. But in all seriousness, I've been sharing stories with good endings. But remember, these people were the lucky ones. Believe it or not, 1,500 people in the United States each year die from ingesting foreign objects. That's not a small number. So if you ever think that you or your child have swallowed something, don't second guess yourself. Just go straight to the emergency department. And hopefully you don't have to remind the doctor that wood and plastic don't usually show up on an x-ray. All right, that's all for today. If you guys like this kind of content, give this video a like and be sure to subscribe. So that way I'll see you in the next video. So bye for now.